Thank you all for coming today to express your sympathy and to remember the life of my aunt. Since my aunt's early 20s, she has traveled away from the Philippines to work and support her family. She became a care aide in Singapore in 1989 and later migrated to Canada in 1991. Her family was always the most important to her. She devoted her life to ensuring that her family was taken care of, and for this, she was a mother figure to us all. Hence, why we call her Mama Shet. With all of her hard work and financial sacrifices, she was able to support her siblings and, her, and their children through college. The academic accomplishments of her siblings, her nieces, and nephews were her pride. As humble as she was, she never realized her selflessness and the amount of hard work that she did to provide for her family. My aunt worked very hard throughout her life, but she also lived a great one. She traveled to many countries around the world with her former employer and her old friend, Leslie. She also enjoyed the simple things in life. She was very good at knitting, sewing, Gardening, cooking, baking, and cleaning. As a matter of fact, she used those hobbies of hers to make extra money. My aunt never forgot our birthdays, anniversaries, and other special occasions. She sent us thoughtful cards via mail with generous gifts. She called us often, and her laughter and her smiles always gave us a sense that she was always near. She kept all of our pictures and letters since we were kids. Now that my aunt has left us, I cannot express the emptiness and sorrow that we feel. She is no longer with us, but she will forever remain in our hearts. All her sacrifices and unconditional love that she gave my family will never be forgotten. Before I end this, I want to especially thank my cousin Grace, her husband Promilo, my cousin Evelyn, my cousin Philip, my aunt's friend Lee, and her daughter Jen. All of you have been there for my aunt during her illness. She was beyond grateful and loved you all. Kyle and Camille, your Lola loved you both very much. She was always laughing and happy when you both were around her. I would also like to thank everyone here as well for taking time out of your busy schedules to say your final goodbyes to my aunt. To my mama, Shet, I love you too, and I will never forget all the love that you have given me. I already miss your smile and your laugh. I know that you will continue to watch over us and will forever be our guardian angel. May your beautiful soul rest in peace. Please stand and turn to the back. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, at the entrance of the church, we welcome our loved one, Shirley Valoria, into the church and surround her with our prayers, asking God to welcome her into the kingdom of heaven. 
as we are doing this, we are recalling the baptism that she was baptized in. On the day of her baptism, Shirley was welcomed into the church, given new life in Christ, and clothed with the garment of salvation. Today, we greet the body of our sister and surround her with the church's prayer. We commend our sister Shirley to the mercy of God and pray that the promise made to her in baptism will be fulfilled. Well, dear brothers and sisters in Christ and dear Shirley's family, her brother Edmund, the nieces and nephews, relatives and friends, first of all, on behalf of St. Matthew's Parish, I would like to extend our deepest condolences to the family. We have come here to pay the last respect to Shirley, and we are asking God to welcome her into the kingdom of heaven. As we're doing this, we are celebrating the sacrament of the Holy Eucharist, which is the celebration of Christ's life, his death, and his resurrection. It is in the resurrection of our Lord that we have the hope of our own resurrection, the hope of the resurrection for Shirley. So let us join our prayers together, pray for the repose of her soul, and offer her into the merciful hands of God. As we are praying for her, we also need to pray for each and every one of us, for her family, so that we will have the peace, consolation, and strength from God and knows that He is wanting all of us, His children, to be happy in Him now and forever. With that in mind, let us pray. Listen kindly to our prayers, Lord, as our faith in your Son raised to the, from the dead is deepened May our hope of resurrection for your departed servant, Shirley, also for new strength through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for the reading.
reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter began to speak. I truly understand that God shows no partiality. But in every nation, anyone who fears him and does what is right is acceptable to him. You know the message he sent to the people of Israel. Preaching peace by Jesus Christ, he is Lord of all. He commanded us to preach to the people and to testify that he is the one ordained by God as judge of the living and the dead. All the prophets testify about him that everyone who believes in him receives forgiveness of sins through his name, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial song. The Lord is merciful and gracious. The Lord is merciful and gracious. The Lord is merciful and gracious. Is slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. He does not deal with us according to our sins, not repay us according to our iniquities. The Lord is merciful and gracious. As a father has compassion for his children, so the Lord has compassion for those who fear him. For he knows how we were made. He remembers that we are dust. The Lord is merciful and gracious. As for mortals, their days are like grass. They flourish like a flower of the field. For the wind passes over it, and it is gone, and its place knows it no more. The Lord is compassion and mercy. The steadfast love of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting on those who fear him and his righteousness to children's children, to those who keep his covenant and remember to do his commandments. The Lord, the Lord is, is merciful, merciful and gracious. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, hope does not disappoint, because God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit that has been given to us. For while we were still weak, at the right time, Christ died for the ungodly. Indeed, rarely will anyone die for a righteous person, though perhaps for a good person, someone might actually dare die. But God proves his love for us, and that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Much more surely then, now that we have been justified by his blood, will we be saved through him from the wrath of God. For if while we were enemies, we were reconciled to God through the death of his son, much more surely, having been reconciled, will we be saved by his life. But more than that, we even boast in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have now received reconciliation. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. 
Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your heart be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house, there are many dwelling places. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself, so that where I am, there you may be also. And you know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going. How can you know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except to me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, as dear Shirley's family, relatives and friends, every time we come together to celebrate the funeral of a loved one, the person we have known for many years, certainly we are filled with sadness and sorrows because we are saying goodbye to that person and we will say that we will no longer see that person anymore. But at the same time, when we come together to celebrate the funeral mass, the celebration reminds all of us that death is not the end of one's life. Death is only a change to new life in Christ, the life that Christ has come to bring to all his children. As he said in the gospel today, I am the way, the truth, and the life. He has come to live on earth here for 33 years. We consider this short time, but he lived a full life. He showed the way to those who follow after him, that it is possible to journey on that way that Christ has set out for us to go. And that way will lead us to our eternal happiness in the kingdom of heaven. That is our eternal home. The place that Christ has gone to prepare a place for us. As he mentioned in the gospel today, I am going to prepare a place for you. And once your place is ready, I will come take you to be with me so that where I am, you may be too. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, we trust that the place for Shirley is ready in the eternal home of the kingdom of heaven for her to come enjoy eternal happiness in the presence of God. And with that, we certainly can change this moment of sadness to the moment of joy, really, because she has completed her journey on earth here she has done her preparation to go home, to be with her Creator. We are those who are still living on earth here. Certainly we hope to live up for a few more years, longer time with our loved ones on earth here. But we know that one day we'll need to say goodbye to the world too. And when that moment comes, we hope that we too will be found worthy to enter the kingdom of heaven, to the place that Christ is preparing for each and every one of us right now in heaven. As we are still living on earth here, we support one another, we pray for each other, and we pray for those who have gone before us, that God will have mercy on them. And as we are praying for the reports of the soul of Shirley at this moment, we give thanks to God for her life for 68 years that God gave to her on earth here, for the chance for us to know her and to share our life with her, and for her to be a part of our life. We give thanks to God for the life of Shirley. And now we entrust Shirley into the merciful hands of God. And as we are giving thanks to God for her life, we also need to give thanks to God for her faith 
the faith that she received on the day of baptism. When she was baptized, she was given the promise of eternal life, the gift of salvation, and that light of faith given to her through her parents and godparents. And she received that light of faith, the light of Christ, in her life. And throughout her life, no doubt, she lived her faith, putting her hope in the risen Lord, in her Savior, Jesus Christ, and shared that faith to others around her. Today, we ask God to give her the reward in the kingdom of heaven. And we celebrate this celebration, as I mentioned at the beginning, which is the celebration of the life, the death, and the resurrection of our Lord. We are united with Christ in his life, in his death, so that we can be raised with him on the last day. For those of us who have been baptized, we too were given the gift of eternal life, the promise of salvation. We have the light of faith within us. Let us allow that light of Christ to be shining brightly in our own life by our way of life, by living the faith, being faithful to God who has shown us the way to keep on that journey of faith and to live the truth that Christ revealed to us so that we can be found worthy eventually to share his new life in the kingdom of heaven. And so, dear brothers and sisters in Christ, as we are praying the last respect to Shirley at this moment, let us remember that this farewell is by no means the final farewell, because we know that one day we'll see her again in the presence of God in heaven. And we know that in order to be with God forever in heaven, we have to be with him right now on earth here. Let's have the prayer of the faithful. Brothers and sisters, Jesus Christ is risen from the dead and sits at the right hand of the Father, where he sits for us and for his church. Confident that God hears the voice of those who trust in the Lord Jesus, we join our prayers to his. Baptism, Shirley Valoria received the light of Christ. Scatter the darkness now and lead her over the waters of death. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Our sister Shirley Valoria was nourished at the table of the Savior. Welcome her into the halls of the heavenly banquet. Lord, hear our mer in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Many friends and members of our families have gone before us and await the kingdom. Grant them an everlasting home with your son. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Many people die by violence, war, and famine each day. Show your mercy to those who suffer unjustly. These signs against your love and gather them to the eternal kingdom of peace. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Those who trusted in the Lord now sleep in the Lord. Give refreshment, rest, and peace to all whose faith is known to you alone. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. The family and friends of Shirley Valoria seek comfort and consolation. Heal, heal their pain and dispel the darkness and doubt that come from grief. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We are assembled here in faith and confidence to pray for our sister Shirley Valoria, 
Strengthen our hold so that we may live in the expectation of your son's coming. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Lord God, give us peace and healing of souls. Hear the prayers of the Redeemer of Jesus Christ and the voices of your people whose lives were purchased by the blood of the Lamb. Forgive the sins of all who sleep in Christ and grant them a place in the kingdom. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands. The praise and the glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look favorably on our offerings, O Lord, so that your departed servant, surely, may be taken up into glory with your Son, in whose great mystery of love we are all united through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly really right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, in him the whole blessed resurrection has dawned, that those saddened by the certainty of dying might be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. Indeed, for your faith, O Lord, life is changed, not ended. And when this earthly dwelling turns to dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready for them in heaven. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as with our end we claim.
Please kneel or be seated. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this year we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like they do for, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Michael, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Shirley, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that she who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. To him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and found by the teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, 
who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Please kneel or be seated. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Well, for Holy Communion, I'd like to mention that uh, Holy Communion is only for Catholics, those who are practicing and ready to receive Communion. For others, you may remain in your seat. Or if you wish to come up for blessing, please indicate by putting your hand on your chest like this for a blessing. Thank you.
Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that your servant Shirley, for whom we have celebrated this Paschal sacrament, may pass over to a dwelling place of light and peace. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, before we go our separate ways, let us take leave of our sister. May our farewell express our affection for her. May it ease our sadness and strengthen our hope. One day we shall joyfully greet her again when the love of Christ, which conquers all things, destroys even death itself. During the uh, funeral celebration, we are using different symbols of the faith at the end of the church, we use the holy water to sprinkle upon her body, representing the water baptism that she was baptized in. And now we are using incense, representing our prayers rising up to God, praying for the repose of the soul of Shirley. And at the same time, we're using this incense to honor her body, body that created by God, destined for salvation. In baptism, shall we share in the death and resurrection of Christ? May she be welcomed into the glory of eternal life. As a sign of respect for our sister Shirley, we let this incense rise to God, who has called her to share in his glory. Into your hands, Father of mercies, we commend our sister Shirley in the sure and certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ, she will rise with him on the last day. We give you thanks for the blessings which will be stored upon Shirley in this life. They are signs to us of your goodness and of our fellowship with the saints in Christ. Merciful Lord, turn toward us and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to your servant and help us who remain to comfort one another with assurances of faith until we all meet in Christ and are with you and with our sister forever. Amen. Dear friends, may every mark of affection and every gesture of friendship that you give to others be a sign of God's peace for you. And now in peace, let us take our sister to her place of rest. So uh, after the uh, celebration of the, the, the Mass, uh, the family is inviting everyone to go to the Jubilee Hall for reception and the internment for um, Shirley will be done tomorrow at noon at the uh, Victory Memorial. And uh, after the funeral Mass, the body of our loved one, Shirley, will be taken back to the funeral home for cremation. And once again, my condolences to the family.
sings my soul, my Savior, come to Thee. How great Thou art, how great Thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior, come to Thee. How great Thou art. 